crap, that didn't work. I was trying to be all artsy. stand up very well right now for very long by myself and so I would lean on a shopping cart and then I could go farther because the back muscles that hurt would stop hurting and anyway I got to the got to the end and we're done me and my friend are sitting on the on the little bench at the end and then I stand up and I look at the shopping cart and I go oh I think I'm just gonna leave it here and walk to the car which was a big mistake because I started to stumble and I stumbled three or four steps and then my head bashed into one of those metal poles that are guarding their doors. And I went down hard. Like, everything went, I went out. And it was not good. It was not easy. It was not fun. Uh, although my friend did say he laughed quite a bit, a little bit. <laughs> uh, apparently, apparently what this points out is that uh, when I go down, when I fall, it's hilarious. Like, it looks hilarious. And I probably deserve it every time I fall because my favorite thing to do is go on YouTube and watch fail, watch other people fall down. It's just amazing, those people. And uh, the thing is, uh, you guys are never going to see this because it's incredibly immoral for any of you to trip me just to see if I, it really is funny to watch me fall now. Like, you guys, it's not going to happen. And, and the same thing, I like, nobody's, uh, I'm never going to get battle scars so I can look tough for the girls or the guys or whoever wants to look at me. <laughs> uh, because no one's ever going to fight me either. Like, this is just, this is just, you know, these are, these are the things. Like, it's, it's the, it, this is the half, ha, this is the cup is half full stuff of having a disability. You know, having to figure out how to wipe my butt when I can't even reach around my big old ass is, another, you know, that's the other side. That's the cup that's half empty stuff. So, uh, yeah. But I found uh, that's probably true in a lot of things. Like, there's a lot of things that happen. Uh, down in Salt Lake, for example, I was walking out of a comedy club late at night and uh, walking across this street, and, and I had ended up pretty far because people had beat me to the place. So I had to walk quite a bit, and I was getting tired, and I was doing that little limpy thing that I do when my legs get tired and I'm about to fall over. And uh, someone was going to get to see something really funny, and it happened to be a dude in a wheelchair. And he was yelling at me from like three blocks away, and I looked, and all I saw was a, wheel a, a dude in a wheelchair with a hot blonde on his lap, and he was screaming, hey, hey, come here. And I was like, I don't want to come here. <laughs> like, are you all right? Do you need help? And I was like, I need, need to get to my car. I need to get to my car because I can't stand up any longer. I'm going to fall. So I finally get to the car and he meets me. Like he gets to my car at the same time. And as he sees me unlocking my door, he goes, oh, I thought you needed some help. I'm sorry. I was ableist. And that was the first I'd ever heard that word. That was pretty cool. I was like, all right, ableist. And then I thought, well, okay, so there's probably this other side, which is the disability privilege. That was pretty cool. I already told you a little bit about that. So the other day, though, at Walmart, at uh, McDonald's of all places, I was sitting there watching as uh, a lady, an older lady, got up, walked over to a complete stranger kid, and hugged the little kid. And I was like, "Oh, how sweet!" And then another part of me said. There's no way I would ever, ever be allowed to do that. <laughs> I would get within like two feet of the kid and somebody would be after me already. I would be tackled and they would get to see me fall down. <laughs> so uh, 
Yeah, I was like, oh, so then I was like a little bit jealous. Like, there's a lot of things that are wrong once you become an older lady, just from what I hear from my grandma, from other friends. And uh, yeah, but the other one was uh, my friend who is an older lady. I said, what, what are you doing the rest of the day? And she goes, oh, I'm going to go up to the new park and I'm going to watch the kids play. And I thought, you know, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing, there's no way I would be allowed to do that. And, uh, and I got to stop because, you know, <laughs> there's something wrong with me because why am I so interested in trying to hit kids and watch them play? That's just not right. I don't know. I don't know where to go with that part because, you know, it's not the, it's, I'm not evil like that. I just, I just think I would be a good inspiration for kids to see a, a handicapped person dealing with life well. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. Well, um, yeah. That went a little faster than I thought, but it's all I got, so I'm going to talk to you later. Woo! We're all waiting for him to fall while he's doing this. <laughs> right? Have on to the plan. Man, I can get it if you want. I don't know why it's not there. Okay. It's physics. Okay. You guys. Oh. You, did. You, did. you have mastered physics. That's so true. I don't know. Like, uh, you, uh, uh, you watch people do fails on the internet. You are a terrible person. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't know how I'm going to get respect. I can't do it. Like, that's too much. I don't know. Like, life's hard enough without somebody laughing at you about it. They don't know I'm laughing at them. <laughs> the internet makes views. Like, you did click, right? Like, there's a view there. Okay. All right, let's keep the show moving. Um, this is the first time on this stage. 